This is a 13 inch rigid planer. <clears throat> I bought it for a very good price off of Craigslist, but there's a few th things that were not working right. And it didn't want to, rollers didn't want to pull very well, so I'm taking alcohol and a rag. You got to be careful of the blades underneath. This has got three blades to it and wiping off the rubber rollers. Then I wanted to check and make sure that the uh, blades were okay and not old. Old. Supposedly this was a year old. But to get to, get to the blades, you got two screws right here. This is a tool that goes in the side of your planer. It just sets in over here and it takes all your screws out. I've already got these screws loose, but you take two screws out of here <coughs> and you're able to pull this cover off that covers the blades and the uh, motor housing so it can uh, suck your chips and stuff out through here. <coughs> then in here you can see these are your bolts, which I'd already loosened up, so I've spent a lot of time taking off showing anyone. But you take these out with your wrench. It comes with your, with everything. And after you get your bolts out, you got a metal plate there that holds your little blade in place. The blade is actually very thin like a thick razor blade. You've got to be careful you don't cut yourself. And it's double edged so you can if one side wears out you can turn the others. In this little tool here you have two little magnets that are decent for lifting the stuff out, mainly safety of the blade. You just lift this bar off that holds your blade in place. You've got a little pin like right here so it fits right down into the slot looks like on the blade then you got these two small holes and they go on two metal pins back here so you can't set it up wrong then you reach in take your magnet get a hold of your blade and these blades are very sharp like I said they're two-sided so if one wears out, you can uh, replace the blades. Then after you clean everything in here and clean the blades off, which I already have, they just set back over these two pins. Just lift and put your plate that holds your blade on. It also lines up on holes in the pins. Then it's just a matter of putting your screws back in. You don't want to tighten one side down all the way. You basically want to just barely snug them all the way across. Then after you uh, tighten them up a little bit all the way down, then you can go back and put some decent pressure on them so that they don't come loose. But that's how you change your blades on here. And it's very, very simple. This is my first time. I've seen some people on uh, YouTube doing it. And it's a lot more simpler than the little Aerobi, Aerobi that I had 10 inch, but I got this one because it was a 13 inch. But it needed a lot of clean up. It didn't want to crank very well. The blades on one edge had a few chips in it. You also, there's a little red tab right here. And this little red tab, you just press it back and it will allow you to unlock this blade. And you just turn right here with your, you just turn right here with your fan blade until it clicks and locks into place. And I numbered mine one, two, threes to make sure that I knew 
what was going or that I was getting all of them and doing the right thing, then it's just a matter of taking your cover, putting it back on, getting it lined back and back in, putting your two screws back in, and that pretty much takes care of taking care of the blades, which is a real quick, easy fix.